Style Power Beauties. It's me, Stephanie Michelle, Coach of Style, back for another video just for you. In my space, I have opportunities to work with many creatives, designers, makeup artists, various types of artists, other stylists, and the list can go on and on. I love what I do, but what I really love is connecting with others and really hearing their story. The story allows me to really look at their creativity and really understand them in a completely different way and it creates a bond that allows me to be extra creative in my own space. I took the time earlier this year to do many interviews with many different designers and I'm bringing them to you. I want you to connect with them, I want you to acquire their items and I want you to love them just as much as I do. Take a listen. This designer is Elisa Harrison. She's the founder and designer of Harrison Hollis. She is a fabulous designer with a very simplistic approach to style. So enjoy the story and I'll see you for another video. Welcome back to Stepping Into Style with me, your host, Stephanie Michelle. And today I have a fabulous guest for you. And I can't wait for you guys to meet her so we can sit down and talk. It is the designer and the founder of Harrison Hollis, Miss Elisa Harrison. Welcome, Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> Come on, let's sit down, let's talk. All right, absolutely. Well, I am sitting here with the amazing designer, Elisa Harrison of Harrison Hollis. I'm the founder and designer of Harrison Hollis. It's a women's wear clothing brand. And can you tell me if it's a minimalist? Is it? A yes, it is a. It has more of a minimalist aesthetic, but we have a little bit of edge to go along I with it. You do. It's something that's been missing in the minimalist community for a while. But I do want to thank you for having me today. I am so excited to have you here. So what many of you don't know is I met Miss Elisa in the most unique way and it's been a fabulous union with the both of us because her story is what captivated me and then her collection. So before we get too into your collection, we yes. want to know a little bit about you. Sure. We want to know everything <laughs> that we can about you. You okay. are so gorgeous. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> you guys can't see this amazing thank purple you. ponytail. <laughs> Which I love. I do love my ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted you to, you guys, to really see who this person is because a lot of times when we shop, we are looking for clothing that resonates with us. And to hear about the person behind the design, the collection, it has a closer meaning for you. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about you. Sure. Well, I'm actually a small town country girl. I am a Southern girl through and through. I grew up in small town Alabama in rural Mississippi. I went to school in Tennessee and moved out to Dallas. And working in the fashion industry is something I wanted to do when I was a kid, but that wasn't really the practical thing to do. So I know that feeling. <laughs> yes, my family kind of steered me in a different direction. So I ended up in corporate America and I started off in banking and okay. I ended up in insurance and okay, I was an insurance you. adjuster for a while. Insurance. Yes. <laughs> I am not looking at the typical insurance adjuster here. <laughs> no, so imagine me, 5'4", 95 pounds, climbing up and down roofs for a living. And that's pretty much what I did when I was a catastrophe adjuster. Catastrophe? Yes. So most of what you do as a catastrophe adjuster, you travel the U.S. whenever there's a big storm in the area. Mm -hmm. um, usually it's mostly hail and wind and tornado, okay. but you know, I'm sure as you know, Florida just had a hurricane not that yes. long ago. Uh, California started to burn down. So if I were still in the industry, mm -hmm. I would have been going to those places to help out those customers. Well, I have to say one thing about California since that's where I moved from. Okay. It's been burning for a long time. It has, and mudslides. Mudslides yes. are a thing for you guys. Yes. Oh my goodness, but I'm a Dallas girl now, so. So am I. I've been here this since 2003. Okay. So yeah, I moved here in 2003 and I've called this home. I briefly moved away to the Kansas City area for three years, but came back. Okay. And in that time is when I decided to let go of the corporate rat race. I went back to school obtained um, my fashion design and technology degree there, moved back here, and 
here we are. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. So her designs, she's sitting right next to some of her fabulous designs and we will definitely get into that a little bit later. But she just told you a little bit about her. Now I want you to tell us what inspired you to create the collection that you created. Sure, well, I am very much inspired by living a life of simplicity. And I'm very attracted to contemporary architecture, things that look gorgeous, but they're simple and classic and have a very timeless look. Okay. And I really wanted to appeal to the customer who's wanting to have a piece in her closet for years to come. She'll be able to layer them, mix them with other pieces. And so that's where I was going with the collection. I absolutely love it. I do love what you're, what you're wearing. She is yes. like wearing one of her pieces and we will <laughs> definitely get a chance to see more of her collection. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to really focus in on the details. What made you come up with the details into your designs? Because I wanted a simple look, I didn't want it to be boring. So the right. details actually matter. And, uh, but when it comes in into the details from a designer standpoint, you also have to think about the sewing that goes into okay. it. And when you everything, say the sewing? Yes. So everything is made in the USA. So I'm very proud of that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> very proud of that. And for collections to come, I am going to focus on um, making sure everything is made here um, in the US. But when it comes to the sewing construction and putting the garment together to become this top, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of detail that you have to pay attention to. It's not just cutting fabric and having someone do a straight seam. There okay. are different types of equipment that has to be used. So when I show you some of the pieces here. I'll show you a little bit of the binding, some okay. of the stitching that I paid attention to in the design process. I will say when I my garment arrived, I was blown away with the details. So I can't wait to get to that section. Um, so Harrison Hobbs. Yes. <laughs> Please tell us. Okay, well, I wanted to pay homage to the ones who came before me. Okay. Um, growing up in the Deep South, there are a lot of things that I saw and heard that maybe a lot of the rest of America may not have had um, an opportunity to experience. So I know the hardships of those before me. And I'm here nice. today because of what people did. So Harrison comes from my great grandparents on my mother's side okay. and Hollis comes from my great grandparents name on my dad's side. I love it. You know, I see so many designers and when you actually hear the backstory, mm -hmm. it gives you a deeper appreciation for the names that they have because okay. they're all very, very creative. <laughs> But you don't know what goes behind it outside of, mm -hmm. okay, my name is Alicia. Right. And in my line, it's called Alicia. Um, but this is really nice. This is really you. nice. Tell me, who are some of your bigger support, some of your biggest supporters? Because I know as a stylist, right? <laughs> I came from a different profession and then I moved back into styling. So I did have a lot of people that looked at me a little, a little crazy. different, but I knew in my heart and my soul where I needed to be, where I had to be. And I'm in that style space now. And it's like, they're amazing. There's no going back. Right. It's like, it's God, it's family, and it's style. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so when I know a little bit about you, okay. but to share your story and to hear where you are now, who supported you in your journey? my biggest supporter hands down my biggest rah-rah cheerleader mm -hmm. my husband okay. he has been beyond anyone my biggest supporter That's and fan good. he is the one who pushed me he was like you can do this i'm ever since i've met you this this is who you are it's what you Love. wanted to do for way over 20 years now and you have this opportunity you know you have savings just do it the worst thing that could happen is it doesn't work. I'm like, oh my gosh. And he says, but then you just go and get a job. You have three degrees. One is a master's in business. You will be fine. So every day he continues to I encourage me. And before we go to bed every night, we pray together. 
and That's key. key it is That's especially key. for us and we've just celebrated six years um, this past December thank you um, but yes he's definitely my biggest supporter Good. and when I have my lows he helps bring me up so I greatly greatly appreciate him you mentioned lows I I definitely <laughs> <laughs> you're in a space where there are highs and lows of highs coming from either the accolades or actually seeing your garment um i know how excited i was when i went <laughs> online and i saw this piece and i was like oh, i know who this is. <laughs> let me get my piece i right. have my piece on so i'll show that in a moment but just that feeling that overwhelming feeling how did it feel for you to know that my line my dream my concepts it's they're out now um I am just now getting to a place where I'm enjoying the excitement, okay. the process, <laughs> and going through all of the background and everything mm -hmm. that it takes to get there, especially me being an A-type personality, okay. it was difficult. And sometimes I was getting in my own way and I just needed to breathe, you know, and, and I needed to give myself an opportunity to say, it's okay to take a break. Right. It's okay to have some self-care and just take it's a day off it's and start again. And yeah. that's what I had the toughest time doing. But now I'm like, oh my gosh, it's here. Oh my gosh, it's here. It's here. <laughs> it's here. Yeah. So it is, it's been several weeks since your line has actually been out, but you've been designing for a while now. Well, so for Harrison Hollis, I actually started the nitty gritty of design in mm -hmm. 2017, but I actually started designing in 2014. Okay. Just trying to figure out exactly who I was as a designer. Okay. How, you know, if I decided to do a collection, what does that look like? Who's going to be my target audience? Okay. So yeah, it's been a few years. Are you ready for the runway? Those pieces need to be on the runway. You think so? <laughs> I think okay. so. You know, yes. it's in the plan. It's in the long-term plan. I need to get outside of myself and you know trust that it okay, is worthy. So once again, so. you're in the way. Huh? I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, your pieces it has to need look to a certain be way, but on, on yeah. Way okay. Well, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk. Yes. But I say that because your pieces are not your average pieces. But at the same time, they're so minimal, but they speak volumes. Thank you. And, you know, as we get into the detailing of it, you guys will see exactly what I mean. I am blown away with the minute details that a mi many retailers, um, I don't even think they pay attention to those when they bring in designers' pieces. So the reason why I really wanted you I really wanted to hear your story. The reason why I really wanted your pieces because of the connection and the detail, even the packaging. I don't even have the packaging here to show people, but I will definitely have to talk about this packaging. Okay. <laughs> um, the thought that goes into that is just who sits and thinks about how this thing is going to be shipped, how it's going to be presented right. in that way. It made me rethink how I package some of my items, you know? Gotcha. <laughs> So I want to say thank you for even thinking of all of those different concepts. So it makes a lot of us stylists and maybe other designers rethink how they're sending some of their items out that are good for the environment. Absolutely. So we're back. And this is the segment that I truly love because this is a time when you get a chance to see the collection and we get to discuss the details that I was discussing before. And also you get a chance to find out how you can obtain some of these fabulous pieces. So I just want to start. What, which one is your signature piece? Okay, so the signature piece would be the tunic. Okay, let's see it. This is the tunic here. This is the back. I love this string. <laughs> and this is the front. So the reason this is the signature piece is because it's definitely a classic, timeless piece. But to give you that little bit of edge, we love. have this leather strip down the center <laughs> this is my favorite on the sleeve yes too. <laughs> my favorite. and then the leather cuff and to give it just a little more edge we have the slit on the side but for our ladies who love pockets you get a little pocket right here on the thank left. you i'm thanking you for all of us who do love a pocket yes. thank, you. <laughs> thank you and i didn't okay. forget about the neckline and it's smooth yes. well now that you bring this up mm -hmm. about the neckline 
This brings me into some of the details that I was talking to you about before. Now, she's paid attention to how she sews each hem. Now, I don't know if you pay attention to hems on clothing, but a lot of times when it gets to the closure piece, it gets a little rough and it scratches our skin. I see you ladies, I am a stylist, <laughs> so I see you sometimes trying to adjust the garment so it's not scraping your skin. It's smooth. She thought of how to turn it inside so that little portion is not scraping your skin. And it's soft. I don't know what type of thread this is, but it's soft. So I appreciate, I appreciate all of that. Did you feel this fabric here? Yeah, that fat. okay. <laughs> For all of you in TV land, you cannot even understand how buttery soft this fabric is. It, it's so lightweight. The good thing about it is this is seasonal universal, as I would call it. I can wear this all year round. Yes, I am one of those people that would wear something like this in the summer. Um, you travel the world, you take this piece with you, it's lightweight, let it flow out. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Absolutely love it. So what's next? Show us what's next. Well, I do want to talk about the top that I have on. This is the high-low piece. It yes. comes in two colors in the collection. Um, there's black and then the white one that I'm wearing. Love. The reason that this one is my favorite piece is because this is where it all started. Okay. This is the production version of the very first uh, design I've ever designed. Wow. So this is where it started and everything else followed. Okay. What I really wanted to talk about was the detail. You may be able to see it a little bit better on me since I'm wearing it. Yes. Right here on the side. That stitching detail, a lot of work went into it but I really wanted to give it a little bit of, um, of an extra touch here. I didn't okay. want just a straight seam. I don't like boring clothes. I, I like see. it to be simple <laughs> and you know effortless, but I also wanted to give it more of a little rebel chic feel. Once you again, know? <laughs> thank you for all of us who don't want to necessarily conform, mm -hmm. but for all of you who do need to conform in your fashion world, these pieces are interchangeable. If you yes. need to wear your classic suit or the cute pair of trousers, this looks amazing with it. I have on one of her shirts with a blazer. I am known for my blazers and my hats. So I try to incorporate that with everything and her collection works out well. So let's move into the piece that I actually have on that I, you know is the first thing I bought because I could not, <laughs> couldn't get over that, that back. Yes. So this is our weekend crossback. It is a vegan leather, but to give that edge again, ladies, yes. if you want to show just a little bit of skin, not too much, we have some sheer that starts at the front shoulder, goes across the back here, and then a little peekaboo back for you. Yes. Just a little bit. So it keeps you comfortable and cool. And something that Stephanie Michelle noticed was the underside of it. Very soft against the skin. So you do not have to layer with a cami. It doesn't feel rough on the skin. Right. And that's definitely something I paid attention to, to every piece. Yes. This is another piece that I absolutely love. I must say, when I saw her line, when I saw her collection online, I had to have this piece. I had to have it. Um, before I move into the next piece, I must tell you guys about the garment when I received it. When I received my item in the mail, first of all, the packaging. It wasn't this elaborate, huge box that took up so much space with all of these packing peanuts, all this plastic. It was just a small package. The shirt was folded so nicely. I don't know who did that, but thank you. It was just so pretty, very neat. And then I opened up the package and realized it's a reusable packaging, which I love and I actually did reuse it. But here's what got me. The first thing that stood out to me was the label. Not because of the name, but the way it felt. I'm a stylist that is always looking for the details because I listen to my clients when they say, oh, can you remove the tag? Or I wish they wouldn't put the tag here. Or this tag is too rough. Well, this designer 
has listened to all of us in some way, shape, or form because this tag is not rough. First of all, it's soft. I don't know what type of fabric that is. And then the corners are smooth. I don't know how they did that. There's attention to detail on how this tag is placed in here. And if you notice, the tag is not right underneath the seam. That is the part that truly bothers us and you're walking around scratching your neck. It's not because your neck is itching, it's because the tag is in the wrong spot. So designers, please pay attention to that. She did. I love the placement of that. And it's very simple. It tells you where it's made, it tells you her name, it's done. Then let's go on the other side. Underside. She mentioned to you before that this is vegan leather. Here's another detail that stood out to me as a stylist, as a consumer, and as a woman. I have many vegan leather pieces and the other side, underside has this uh, felt feel. And I need to wear some type of camisole or something silky underneath so this fabric doesn't feel like it's sticking to me. Well, once I put this garment on, it's smooth and silky. I have it on right now and I don't have on a camisole or something underneath, which means I can wear this nice and freely and it's breathable. It's not heavy. I'm not sweating. Thank you. You're welcome. Last thing that I really want to point out is this mesh. This had me scream into the God <laughs> of happiness because this mesh is so soft, which means it's not brittle. It's, it doesn't feel like it's rough. This is really nice mesh. It's soft. Put it like this. Okay, let's just face it. The shirt, there's attention to every last detail in this shirt. This is not a shirt that you're going to find in some throwaway shop and it has a $500 tag on it because so-and-so made it. This shirt has a price tag that reflects quality. It has elements in it of quality. So when you purchase your item, she's going to tell you where you can purchase your item. When you purchase this item, I really want you to pay attention to the packaging that it comes in. I want you to pay attention to the detail that went into this shirt. Then I want you to think of the story of how this shirt was even conceptualized right to your house. So it's not just a shirt. It's a dream. It's a design that you can wear for a long time. But there's one more piece that you gotta see, which I'm dying to get to. Come on, show the white one. Yes, the crop top. Yes. Everyone loves this crop top. Now it is designed to be oversized. So if you are a medium, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to fit you like a large because it's okay. an oversized piece. This can go through any season. You can layer it so many ways, but let's it. talk about the spring and summer. Right. Okay. Right spring around comes around. Imagine this with a really pretty pastel pink skirt. Summertime comes around. Ladies, we love to roam the beaches in our bikinis. A white bikini top okay. with the white bottoms underneath. Do this you see is the stylist coming out of the designer. <laughs> She's telling you how yes. to wear some of her clothing. So it can be styled with, you know, bottoms to wear out okay. to brunch, dress it up, dress it down, or you can use it as a cover top okay. for the summertime for your um, beach time. Question, what about shorts? Yes. Oh my gosh. So Don't get me shorts started with heels. shorts. <laughs> so I, at home, I do have a pair of high-waisted black leather shorts. Okay. And I do wear those <laughs> shorts with this piece right okay. here. Super cute. I love it. I absolutely love it. Once again, same detailing went into this soft mesh tag placement. Even the hang tag on the inside. I don't oh, think yes. I showed that before, but <clears> the <throat> hang tag. No, it is removable. It's just free flowing. Yes. Read your garment tag so you know how to care for your garments and then remove it. Yeah, this was designed to be read and you can and removed so that you don't have to feel the, the care label against your skin. I love it. And just like with the tunic and the cross back, we have the leather binding around the neck as well. And the care of your garments. Very easy to care for. Yes, so when you read the label, you'll see that it's dry clean only. That's for, you know, my ladies who are just really not 
big into doing laundry. I will tell you this little trick though. I actually launder my pieces. But ladies, if you wash it, just know that it only takes a little bit of detergent and lay it flat to dry. Um, but if you're not into laundry, I would definitely just stick with dry clean only. Nice. Thank you so much for sharing all your pieces, especially Thank your you. signature pieces <laughs> and the fine detailing. And I want to say on behalf of all of us who buy clothing, <laughs> yeah. thank you for putting the attention into the details. Thank you. I, well, you know, I kind of went online and did a rant on. You did, and I greatly appreciate that. I greatly appreciate I that. I was so excited about my package, and I am wearing <laughs> mine now. So you can see there's different ways the style she has on her top right now with a cute pair of skinny jeans with the moto zipper and her cute boots. I have mine on suit style, well, my version of my suit style, um, with my blazer and, of course, my hat. But there you have it. These are the pieces from Harrison Hollis and the fabulous line from the stylist <laughs> designer <laughs> and founder of yes. Harrison Hollis. So go ahead and tell them how they can find your garments. Absolutely. Um, well, we are an e-commerce retail store, so you can find us at harrisonhollis.com. And if you wanted to contact me, that's also the best way to contact me. There's a contact form there. And check us out. Follow us on Instagram at shop Harrison Hollis. And if you need to send a quick email, it's info at harrisonhollis.com. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Join me for the next episode and you can see what designer is coming up next. Thank you. Bye-bye.